ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back to another perfect day here in the beautiful state of Utah. Boys, the car that I've been clickbaiting for the past three weeks is gonna be here in about 25 minutes. I'm buying this car sight unseen. I did not have it inspected. I have absolutely no idea really what to expect. It could be a beautiful car, or it could be, it could be a piece of junk. Hmm. Oscar, the car is here, bud. The car's here, we gotta go to the roof. The truck driver just said he's gonna be here in three minutes. This is an unexpected sequence in the vlog. Uh, it's, a, it's a frozen roof. Not safe, not safe. I do wanna point out there's a bit of a caveat. This car, although I bought it, I'm paying for it, it is not necessarily mine for the long term. I'm gonna be giving it to somebody. Not today, not tomorrow, but sometime next week. And there it is. Oh, boys, it's here, it's here. Check that out, are you kidding me? All the way from the beautiful state of Michigan, Oh uh, wow, this is this is pretty insane actually. We have the Roush F-150, the Ferrari California, and look at that Rolls-Royce limo thing. Whoa, okay, mad shout out to this truck driver. This maneuverability is incredible. Whoa. I'm trying to keep you guys a little bit surprised. Unfortunately, it is not the Roush F-150. It's not the Ferrari California either. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how to say this. I have bought a 1982 Rolls-Royce Silver Spur <laughs> limo, that sounds so ridiculous just to even say that. So unfortunately, this Ferrari actually has a blown motor, so we're gonna have to push it off the trailer to get the Rolls-Royce. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 1982. <laughs> this is really creepy. My first time driving a California T. Bada bing. We have to push it, we have to push it a lot further. That's right, that's right. Anyways, only in a 1982 Rolls Royce they get a bunch of John Denver CDs as well. And then look at the monstrosity of this exhaust. I don't want to predict the future. There might be a straight pipe Rolls Royce limo coming to, to, to a vlog near you. It has to be done. You have to admit, it has to be done. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know if you guys can hear it. That is a 6.7 liter V8, and that is a cold, cold startup. We'll see. I may have made a very stupid decision. More to come. I just said this is the dumbest thing we've ever done. This might be the coolest thing we have ever done. Oh my goodness. I think the limo's like 25 feet long. Imagine this thing in purple with white wheels. If my neighbors thought I was annoying with the Aventador in the 430 challenge, just imagine what they're thinking right now. <laughs> okay, that does not sound very good. Okay, we're good, we're good. It's comfortable in here. This is nice, oh my goodness. Okay, so, reverse neutral drive. Here we go, oh my gosh. This thing is an absolute land yacht. Just gonna park it in the driveway. Wow, it is so comfy. I think it's safe to say with no hesitation and absolutely zero reservation, this is the single greatest purchase of my entire life. If you guys have any good video ideas, let me know in the comments below. Now before we do our first spin class, yes, it, it, it is rear wheel drive, I wanna thank today's video sponsor, Autotempest.com. Guys, Autotempest is the premier online search engine if you're looking to get a great deal on a used car around the country. Whatever it is that you're doing to look for a used car, for, forget it, scrap it, check out Autotempest, let me explain why. I could legit live in this car. It is so spacious and it's so comfy. Are you kidding me? We probably shouldn't do this, but we're going to anyways. If today's video gets 114,999 likes, I will sleep in the back of the limo overnight on camera. So I guess I suppose the courteous thing to do would be to, would be to smash that like button. Anyways, guys, I'm telling you, Auto Tempest, if you're looking for a used car, it is the best place to start. And yeah, I know I've been sponsored in today's video, but every single time I look to buy a used car, the first place I start is autotempest.com. Let me explain why. So we're gonna go to autotempest.com, under make, select Rolls Royce, and hit the search button. Instantly, Auto Tempest pulls in hundreds and hundreds of results from all around the country, from all the major classified websites. We're talking True Car, Cars.com, and even eBay Motors, and Auto Tempest lets you compare prices with all of Auto Trader and all of Craigslist. Trying to find the best used car can be a bit of a tedious process. Let's say every morning you start on eBay Motors, you select the make, you select the model, you hit search, 
and the car's not there. So then you move on to AutoTrader and then to cars.com and then to TrueCar and don't even get me started on how annoying it is to use Craigslist. Whereas with AutoTempest, I'm telling you, it's a one-stop shop. The next time you're looking for a used car, link below, AutoTempest.com. It's gonna make your life so much easier and it's the best way to compare prices nationally because it pulls in results nationally. Guys, link below, AutoTempest.com. I've made a lot of dumb decisions in my life, but I would reckon when I look out and I see that spirit of ecstasy, this is the single greatest decision I've ever made. And no, I have no idea what that annoying buzzing sound is or, or how to turn it off. But check this out. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we're gonna pop it into park and we're gonna shut her off. And the buzzing sound did not go away. I have a solution. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> we got privacy glass, boys. Okay, that worked. All my neighbors already hate me. They're all at work right now. When they get home and they see this monstrosity parked in the driveway, I'm not really sure how they're gonna feel. Also, the 430 challenge, this is the first time we've seen the turquoise under the sun. It looks so good, especially parked next to the silver spur. Okay, so we gotta hop in the Ferrari, put this in the garage. I just can't stop laughing at it. It's so ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna get evicted very, very soon probably, but sometimes in life, am I right? In a very unexpected sequence in the vlog, we have a very important celebrity guest who has flown all the way from London, the United Kingdom, here to Utah, definitely just for Utah. He was not in Florida yesterday driving a Bugatti Chiron, absolutely not. He came here just to see the Rolls Royce Silver Spur. Oh, hi guys, I'm Shmi. Can we go grab some lunch? Let's do this. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, dude? Welcome to Utah. <laughs> How's it going, man? <laughs> we should get some lunch, maybe McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, or In-N-Out. I mean, I'm chauffeuring you, so it's kind of sort of your choice. I mean, any goes. I'm in here, I'm comfortable, I'm chilling out, enjoying it. Enjoying 1982, aren't you? Yes, look at this. Unfortunately, I, I don't know how to say this, guys. The TV doesn't work. You mean we can't, we can't stream YouTube on this? It doesn't work. <laughs> It's into life. That's a 6.7 liter V8. I haven't figured out what the buzzing sound is. Oh, no, it turned off. We're good. We're good. Yeah, fine. All right, so we're going to pop this baby into drive. Yes. Full sing. Go, 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 go. All right, foot is to the floor. The low cooling light just flickered on, but we're good. My foot is to the floor right now. That's 40. That's 45. Come on, Rolls Royce. Go, 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 go. 50. You guys don't realize, but Tim is holding on for dear life. Pretty much. Okay, how many <laughs> That's 60. How many miles has this done? 106,000 miles. That's not too many. She's smooth though, like buttery oh smooth. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this is comfy. This is great. I just noticed an interesting fact. The odometer has not moved since we took delivery of this car. It is stuck at 106, 199. And that makes sense because the car facts from 20 years ago said 106, 199, and it still says 106, 199. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the odometer doesn't work. It's just something about the spirit of ecstasy. I don't know what it is, yeah. Tim, but like it just it just exudes class and performance and luxury and elegance. Of which I am absolutely <laughs> none of. Okay, so obviously on that bombshell, we're headed to Chick-fil-A because break, well, break, whoa! Break. <laughs> the brakes are not, how do we say this? They're sufficient but not necessarily adequate. Yeah, that made sense. That made sense. I didn't make the best sense. Kind of made sense. Kinda. Are oh, we gonna yeah. get round the corner here? Oh, absolutely. Never doubt full send. If not, we'll just curb it. Jeez. You probably, oh my God. Oh, I can make this, absolutely. We're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah? I love how you're like, I'll have a number one, this, that, and the other, and I'm like, I have not seen a menu. <laughs> the menu's up here. Have you never been here. to Chick-fil-A? Yeah, but it's not, it's not a regular, you know? I don't know oh, exactly true, true, what I'm true, doing. True, true. Hi. 1736, thank you. Nice ride. Thank Good you so you. much. <laughs> See? I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick up girls in this thing. This is the <laughs> ultimate chick magnet. People think Lamborghinis Look, pick up girls. Yeah. Rolls Royce limos pick up do. girls. You've got room for lots of stud girls. That's right. <laughs> yes. That's just, yes. Oh, it feels good to win, boys. Don't judge me in the comments below. I realize that is not a very good parking job. We got the 911 Turbo S. That's an awful parking job. Yeah, that's not my best work. <laughs> the guy in the turbo's like, why is this? Stupid limo park next to me. I'm sorry. It's the best that I could do, but it looks good. Also, what is with this boomerang thing? What is that? Is that functional? I don't know. It must be an arrow thing. I think or so. Is it just a design. I thing? would assume for downforce. Don't you think? Probably downforce. 
Like his wig. <laughs> yes, exactly. Pretty much the same concept. You know, 911 Turbo S and, and the Silver Spur. Anyways, lunch. Growing up, your parents always told you you'd remember your wedding day and maybe like the birth of your firstborn child. Nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna remember the day I bought my first Rolls Royce and ate Chick-fil-A in the back with Shmi 150 and on that bombshell. Oh my, that's so good. It's just a, like, not a patriotic place for Chick-fil-A or Chifilis, but it's good chicken, boys. We have these four buttons right here. One says emergency start, the other says main power. Check this out. Whoa, lights. we got LED light strips. That really sets the mood, doesn't it, Tim? Shmi, Tim, Shmi. Are you kidding me? How could you do me like that? See ya. <laughs> I gotta be straight up honest. I don't know if the gas tank is on the passenger or the driver's side. It's crazy when you think about it. In 1982, this was the pinnacle of luxury. And now fast forward, what, 38 years later, um, I, I, I'm driving this. I, I, yeah, anyways, we gotta fill up. This is kind of sort of awkward. It's, it's, it's on the other side. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're gonna have to flip her around. It's a silver spur, 1982. Hollywood couldn't even script this. Air code CR002, it doesn't work. So we have to move the Rolls Royce to, to right there. So this is um, this is take take three. We gotta hustle. I'm sorry, sir, I know you got a lot to do. I mean, come on, time is short here. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. Do you need any snacks inside? A drink? Okay, a, a, some crisps? Get, get Sweets? Coffee. Okay, sorry, sorry, so sorry. We're gonna feed the beast. Give her the 91. That's right. The car collection just continues to get weirder and weirder and weirder. Of course, we have the factory for our race car, and we have a school bus, and I need to move my focus because it's in the way. I am so sorry. This is so awkward. Don't try this at home. Also, don't dent the focus. Wait for it, wait for it. Dun, dun, dun. That is so sick. That is so crazy. Also, apologies to the school bus driver. We need to get, we, we need the roof shot. Yes, we do, absolutely. Yes, this is the second time on the roof, but sometimes in life, am I right? Yo, okay, that is sick. You have, you have to admit, that is amazing. That Rolls Royce, it just adds a little bit of class to the collection that we didn't have. Okay, um, crab crawl. What's up, mate? We've got to get to the airport. Oh, um, can you can you catch us? Yes. Wait for it. Wait for it. Downshift. Downshift. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yes. It is so loud in this car. All right, so we gotta get Tim to the airport because we're kind of, sort of late. Kind of. Not really late. Kind of. Not really late. A little time would be better. A smidge. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> That's a sign to come. We got speed bumps everywhere. Welcome to Salt Lake City International Airport. The 430 Challenge Uber, not bad, eh? Not bad, not bad Uber, at all. Five star Uber. So you skied behind the event store yesterday. Yeah. For our Challenge Uber, you're gonna come visit again soon? You bet. Maybe in a new whip? Yeah. Maybe, maybe. maybe. Summer. If you guys are not subscribed to Shmi150, link below the OG of OGs. Dude, good to see you, man. Safe Always. travels. Enjoy Phoenix. And uh, we are headed, well, we're headed that way, and there's a lot of speed bumps. So if we could take a moment of silence for the front splitter. Forget the moment of silence. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Tap out. I cannot get over how good the 430 challenge looks in the turquoise. I think the 4GT might be the same wrap uh, to match because it look it looks so good under the sun. Also, as far as the 4GT and the exhaust, we kind of sort of have some bad news more to come on that. But this color looks sensational. The turquoise just glistening under that Utah sun. Are you kidding me? It looks amazing. You have to admit that looks incredible. I'm not really sure what I was thinking. At the time, when I paid for this car, it, it seemed like a good idea in theory. And now that it's here in the garage, like I said though, don't get emotionally attached. The car is not staying in the family for the long term. Uh, it kind of, the entire garage smells like 1982. Like, uh, picture like your grandma or grandpa's house. That's what this smells like. It's like this old, musty, old car smell. Um, anyways, I think this should be wrapped purple though. What do you guys think? 
Hmm. Anyways, I am flying off to Kansas tomorrow. I know that's kind of random. We're headed off to Wichita. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm going to be giving this car to the buddy of mine next week. I'm not really sure what he or she is going to think, but I think we should wrap it purple. Anyways, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over. And I'm